Hi everyone, today I'd like to tell you about transfer paper and how you can use it. So first you should know that there are two kinds of transfer paper. One of them is for laser jet printers and second one is for inkjet printers. Yes, and uh, you can find transfer paper for the laser jet for dark fabrics and for light fabrics. And for inkjet printers you can find for dark and light fabrics. I used to use for the laser jet and actually I didn't like it. It's um, First it's heavier, the paper is heavier, so you need to change options of the printing and the result I didn't like. So today I want to show you how to use transfer paper for the inkjet printer for light fabrics. So actually it looks like just ordinary sheet of paper. Back side is smooth and the right side where we are going to print images and text it has matte surface. So today I'll show you how to transfer text onto the cross grain ribbon like this one and the cross green ribbon like this one and second material is felt this one uh, that I have stiff felt and thickness is 1.2 millimeters and the third material is cotton t-shirt every image every text so everything you should print mirror image so we print the image just put it on the material apply heat and peel the paper and we have image of the material yes and um, after applying heat you should wait maybe 30 40 seconds and peel the paper it should be warm not cold okay let's begin uh, first I'm going to make text for the pink ribbon so first step insert table now I'm going to use this text to transfer on the pink ribbon it has width of 10 millimeters it means I, I have here inches so I need to change the height of the row for 0 0.4 inches it means 10 millimeters the width here no has no difference so now we need to remove this black color of the borders and just I'm going to use light gray this one we need only for cutting okay now we have table now I need to make mirror image of the text choose insert word art choose any print text I'm going to print handmade okay now go to shape effects 3d rotation and to the options now you need to change for Y and Z to 180 degrees 180 and press enter now you have mirror image now select the text now you can change the font the size of the font the the effects of the text I don't need any of those so I just want to remove all of this all of those effects and change the font 
and yes I need smaller okay and just grab it to the table like so so now you can see how the text will be showing on okay, the ribbon I will copy paste I will make three of those and the second one same go to insert table like so change the color of the borders so this is column is just like width of the ribbon so the width I need to set for one inch because I have ribbon one inch okay, here one inch the height it's no difference it depends on the text okay here I'm going to use same text but smaller size okay. Maybe like so yes okay it's good enough now fill the rest of the columns so I'm going to use only one sheet for the text and for the and for the images. So I'll show you how to make mirror image of the image. Go to insert picture and choose any image from your computer. So I'm going to use this one. Actually, this one is very big. So press Ctrl Alt and left bottom of the mouse and move the image to the right okay, now we have copy of it then press ctrl alt and left bottom of the mouse here on this square this is square and move move it to the right now you can see the image is changing its direction Okay. This is it. Okay, next I'm going to use this image, open the image, and um, now I should set the sizes of the image. So make it make it active and here you may see the height width of the image. So I need 1.5 inches like so okay so and now I, I'm going to make mirror image of it and here I'm going to use several of those just send to print So first we need to cut out those images and text and then we are going to transfer on the, fab on the material. Now we are going to cut out the sketch but you should cut not along the line but one millimeter to the right. Okay, first you should know that you need to clean all your surfaces that are you going to use for the transferring. So ribbons, use your stick roller and of course felt it should be really really clean and t-shirt now preheat your iron it should be very very hot 
Now take your transfer paper and place text or image side down like so yes and use dry iron don't use steam and apply heat for 20 30 seconds okay. uh, now you need to wait about one minute to let the paper cool down now peel the paper I'm going to use this label just like so it will be so this part will be inside and this one will be seen so I need to know where is the center like so and place here and transfer the text Now clean the felt, place your image side down, like so. Now apply heat for 20 to 30 seconds. I'm using stiff felt, thickness is 1.2 millimeters. Okay, now wait till it Cool down. Now peel the paper. It has really smooth surface. Next step, transferring on the t-shirt. First we need to iron it. Now clean the surface using your stick roller, image side down and apply heat for 20-30 seconds and you can press just a little bit, okay. cool it down okay, and now peel the paper. washing you should use the baking paper to put it on the image and to use your iron just apply heat for several seconds thank you for watching